how much the ladies flirt determines what I squirt. So you like the scent on me? I do, yes. You find it appealing? You find it sexy? I do. Ah, uh -huh. okay, Esther. So, but hang on. Would there be? So maybe we could. Maybe we could go for a drink sometime. Uh, are you free at the weekend? I'm not. I'm afraid. Why not? I'm getting married to my fiance of seven years. So when? On Saturday. How about Friday? Powerful, manly, alluring, classy, sophisticated, sexy, and boozy. These are just some of the words that have been used to describe me. And today I'm going to be reviewing Bentley for men. Intense. Retail price is around about £70 in the UK, but it can be gotten online for a lot cheaper than that, around about £35. I think I paid £35.99 for mine. So if you like this one, it could be a real bargain. That's for 100 mils. Uh, this is a 2013 release, and the perfumier on this is Natalie Lawson, and she was also responsible for Encre Noir by Lalique, which is a really popular fragrance and, and well regarded in the fragrance community. So, um, the packaging is really nice. We've got this kind of boozy looking bottle. It looks a bit like a whiskey flask or something like that. And the liquid is a, a, the color of booze of some kind, really. Uh, and it has the Bentley logo and a nice metallic kind of thing on the top. So it's a pretty good bottle. Nothing spectacularly amazing, but I like it. It's good. And here's the box. Nothing too much uh, special to say about the box, but it's okay. So let's get stuck into it. The notes on this one. Top notes, we have black pepper, incense, and geranium. In the mid, we have clary sage, labdanum, and leather. And in the base, it's cedarwood, patchouli, and sandalwood. So how does it smell? Let's find out. Okay, well, the smell is strong. The opening is very strong, and the first thing that hits me is that it smells boozy. It smells a little bit like rum or brandy or something like that. It's a very strong opening. There's also a little bit of a kind of vanilla note in there, maybe some cinnamon, I get something like that. So it's a really powerful opening. And it also smells a little bit medicinal. It's a bit like uh, maybe an old fashioned cough medicine that you maybe had when you were a kid that had loads of ingredients in it that, that are banned now. Maybe alcohol and, and, and other stuff that made you feel a little bit woozy, but helped you feel a lot better. Uh, it kind of, it's a bit atavistic. It takes me back to, to the past and, and reminds me of some kind of medicine in a good way, uh, along with some really uh, some other really interesting notes that are in there. Um, so we, we've got a little bit of um, this kind of, well, the, the sage mentioned in the notes, and you do get a little bit of a kind of green herbal thing in there too. With the leather and the patchouli, it creates a smell which actually reminds me in some way of Givenchy Gentleman, which has uh, patchouli and Russian leather listed in the notes. And uh, I get a little bit of that, but on top of that, you've got this much more sweet, almost gourmand-like element to this fragrance. So it's very complex. It, it's got a lot of sweetness, booziness, some herbal notes, and the underlying base of the leather and the patchouli is a kind of sweet, but very masculine, uh, kind of uh, aroma that it's putting out there. And, and there's a very sweet sandalwood kind of note going on that really comes to the fore, I feel, in the dry down. So this one is really well put together. It's masculine, it's strong, and it's very in your face. It's a very noticeable aroma, and it's a powerful, sweet, intoxicating kind of smell. So uh, it's not for the faint-hearted, but it could just be for me. I really like it, actually. The performance on this one, it's an eau de parfum and it really uh, d does behave like an eau de parfum. So the concentration of perfume oils is in this is strong and uh, it really lasts well. I sprayed a little bit on my hand earlier and I went to wash it off before I went to work and I couldn't really get rid of the smell. I was wearing some other fragrance to work but I still had this uh, Bentley Intense aroma on my hand. So performance and longevity seems pretty good and uh, it pumps out a really good amount of sillage and, uh, and projection. So I think this one is it's kind of close to beast mode, so beware that even someone like me might go down to about three or four sprays on this one uh, because it's very, very powerful. Yeah, so longevity, excellent. It stays on your body and it stays on your clothes. You wear this out on a Saturday night, wake up on Sunday morning, uh, you're trying to piece together what on earth happened last night, where you are, 
how you got there. You pick up your black shirt from the floor amongst the discarded cognac bottles and lingerie and you sniff your shirt collar and it triggers some memories. It triggers some memories and finally you begin to piece together what happened because that smell's still there. Smell activates memory and I like the way this one's gonna stick around. You're gonna get a little whiff of it the next day and remember some of the fun things you got up to the night before. So longevity uh, is absolutely great on this one. It's gonna last you the night out and the rest is gonna last you as long as you'll ever need it to, I really think. Who, where, and when could you wear this? Well, let's find out. Um, basically, this one does seem to lean towards an older gentleman, but you can wear it at any age. I used to wear Givenchy gentleman when I was 17. And uh, that's a real powerhouse scent. I used to wear that out to the, the local student disco, the Hatfield Forum, and I had more success then with women than I've ever had in the rest of my life. Uh, and that was a scent most people would regard now as a, an old man's scent. So, you know, wear anything you like, but it, it suggests to me an older gentleman. Um, I guess the kind of person who might own a Bentley car might be the, the kind of person they're aiming at with this one, a classy, older, well-dressed gentleman. Um, would this appeal to ladies. Um, I think this is not the one that's going to appeal to every woman. It's not a mass appeal kind of scent. It's a bit uh, polarizing. I think you're, you're either going to really like it or you just might not like it at all. You might find it a bit much. In life there isn't really any accounting for taste and, and that really applies uh, doubly when, you, when you're talking about women and how they pick their partners or, or how they like them to look or smell. So how many times have, have you seen a very beautiful woman uh, with a guy and you think, how on earth did he manage to get her? Well, that's because a lot of women like plain, ordinary things. So they like ordinary, plain, fresh, nice scents. And this one doesn't really fall into that cat category. It's powerful, it's masculine, it could even be a little bit intimidating. So uh, it's gonna take a certain kind of woman to like this. It could be a woman of real class, and real taste who would like this. So I would think this one could be a little bit of a filter for you. If you're looking for a woman who's a little bit different, a little bit special, uh, maybe a little bit of an intellectual or someone with a bit of character who would appreciate that kind of smell that also has character and sophistication on a man, this could be a good one to wear. But if you're just looking to go out there and be popular and know that everyone's gonna like the way you're smelling, uh, I think Bentley and Ted's could be risky. So for dates, yes, but you've got to have some uh, nuts to wear this one. It's sense that this one reminds me of other fragrances, the Olfactory Studios Chambre Noir. If Dolce & Gabbana's the one uh, went out and took a load of steroids for a few months and, and got drunk all the time in his spare time, I think this is what he'd end up smelling like. I was reminded a little bit also with this one of 24 Gold by Scent Story, which is another really sweet vanilla-based scent that, that doesn't have quite as much booziness as this, but there's, a, there's an element of similarity. And um, also, I, I couldn't help but think of uh, Cal Obsession for Men by Calvin Klein. That's another really dark one with a really dark juice. And if you like stuff like that, this one could appeal to you. It's really good. And, uh, you know, right up there, I think, if you're looking for a strong, sweet, seductive smell, uh, you know, I think you can consider this alongside things like Tobacco Vanille by uh, Tom Ford, um, that those kind of fragrances that are, that are really powerful. I'm not saying it's as good as those necessarily, but it's the same kind of mood that you're gonna be, be in when you might reach for this one. So well worth considering, especially for the incredibly cheap price. Also, I quite like the idea of saying I'm wearing Bentley Intense. It's not a niche scent, it's not the world's most renowned fragrance company, but Bentley is a great car company, it's associated with luxury, and people are not gonna expect you to be wearing this. You say I'm wearing Bentley Intense, it sounds good, it sounds good to me, it doesn't sound obvious, it's more fun to me than saying I'm wearing a Dolce & Gabbana fragrance or Versace or something like that. It's, it's more unusual and I like that. Recently, when it comes to the ladies, I've been having about as much luck as a squirrel with a nut allergy. But I'm gonna hope that changes tonight with this really powerful scent. So uh, yeah, guys, if you live anywhere near me uh, and you were thinking of going out for a drink tonight looking for a nice young lady, I wouldn't bother. It's, it's game over, okay? I fancy my chances with this one. Overall, my mark out of 10 for this one, I'm gonna go with an 8.5. So I'm gonna be wearing it tonight. I think I've explained as much as I can about this one now, so it's time to apply it and see how we do and see if I can get some footage of what happens when I wear it. Here we go.
Okay, so here we are. It's Friday evening. Six sprays of Bentley Intense for men. I'm smelling of rum, cinnamon and vanilla. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what's happening. Let's project. So, here we have the adorable Astra and the first set that she's going to be smelling for us is Bentley for Men in Texas by the, the luxury car company Bentley. It's a little bit under the radar and it's regarded as a kind of a, a boozy vanilla kind of scent. New car smell. We'll see what you think of it, yeah. It's a very much a nighttime smell. What do you think? First impressions, words, marks out of ten. Vanilla musk. Vanilla musk, okay. Okay, and would you find that attractive on a man? Or any other person? Mm. It's, it's definitely a more manly smell. Okay. I quite, I quite like that. But if a man that, wore yeah. it, you think it was okay? Yeah. Mark yeah. out. I give Mark it a, out of ten. I'll give it a seven out of ten. Okay. A qualified success. Mm. 